So today we'll be having our first keynote speaker, uh, Somtochi Onyekwe. She is uh, she works with WeaveWorks as a developer experience engineer and also contributes to the uh, Kubernetes project. Hi, Somtochi. Hello. How's it going? Hello, Abuga. How, hello, Anita. How's it going? Hello. Yeah, going good. Everything is going fine. So, yeah, I think some touch you can take it away from here. Okay, okay. Okay, welcome to <laughs> coming to this Africa for the second year in a row. We are excited to be here. Um, a bit sad that it was it's only virtual, but I know that we're still going to have loads of fun. And just a short intro. Um, Abubakar already did most of that, but yeah, my name is Onyekwe Somtochi. I'm a developer experience engineer at Weave Works. At Weave, I work most of my day to day is around contributing to Flux, which is at op an open source project under the CNCF, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, much like Kubernetes. And I am your yearly reminder to to contribute to Kubernetes, you know, and open source in general. So I want to start off by saying that you have something to give, right? I I know most times I start off this talk with, you know, the benefits of open source, which is always there. But there's also that these projects, like Kubernetes doesn't have sufficient contributions for like all the issues and that needs to be worked on. So you have something to give. And of course, we also, always I treat that it's not just code, you know, it, it could be docs. Kubernetes has a website, you know, it's very, it's a, it has a lot of articles, you know, there's a lot of issues open on the GitHub repo. So if you're a technical writer, that's what you're into. There's a group, a special interest groups, which is what we call so focus groups in Kubernetes around docs. You can definitely join in and you know, get started from there. If you are into community management, program management, you know, that sort of thing is your flow. That's still fine. Uh, there's also space for people that want to contribute that way too. If you are a designer, you know, you want to get into open source design, there's a CGUI. Uh, we have a, there's a Kubernetes dashboard. So there, there are designs around that, you know, designs around what we do. So even if you're a designer, there's still a space for you. And if you're unsure, like there are also different programming languages, even if you don't write Go, which is mostly what Kubernetes is written in, you know, you can take a look at the Kubernetes organizations. There are, you know, client libraries written in other, other languages. You can find a point to contribute. And I also wanted to zoom in and say, you know, just get started. Like I was looking through my contributions to Kubernetes yesterday as I was trying to prepare the talk. And I saw that, you know, the, the, the sweater I'm wearing is a Kubernetes swag. I got from, community, from contributing to the Kubernetes community repo. And I basically just updated a Zoom link. So you don't have to start with like this massive to request, you know, you could literally, the, the Kubernetes repositories has a lot of good first issues, right? There are a lot of issues that are, you know, low hanging fruits that they are trying to tag, make it easy for you to identify. So if you go on almost any repo, you, you'll probably find a good first issue that you could get started with that is not too complex. And if you just want to, you could just, try out the Kubernetes community repo. There's actually like pretty easy tags to pick up there. Like I literally just updated a, a stale Zoom link and that was it. Like I was like, oh, my PR is merged. So, but of course we don't just want you to, you know, make these small contributions and go away. These contributions are sort of supposed to be a stepping stone for you to make more quality contributions, it's just to get you started, you know, give you that small ginger, like, oh, we can do this, you get. So we understand that sometimes um, contributing to Kubernetes, a large project like Kubernetes, you know, there are so many new moving parts, there are different repos, there are so many people, it can be challenging, it can be daunting, it can be like, oh my God, where am I going to get started with? Like, even when I'm contributing to like any new project at all, 
it's it is like that uh you just like we said you know pick a low low hungry food you know try and of course you should know what kubernetes is you should you should at least have used kubernetes you know you can play around with it with a local client cost kind cluster kubernetes running in docker so you could play around with it you know have an idea of it also join the slack channels you know try and join some meetings try and understand what's going on you know feel free ask some um ask questions like so far because the kubernetes community has been like really welcoming they are really open to and nice to um new contributors there's a whole sig around special interest groups so there's a whole sig around contributor experience you know trying to make the experience better for people who are just coming into the community so surely like you're definitely welcome so of of course we we when you start contributing like is is network in effect right like the the kubernetes community grew massively because you know this person starts contributing and it's like okay you can start contributing you know it's like mmm but you know a much positive way but what i'm trying to say is that you could literally be here like next year encouraging people to contribute too because you got started like yeah so the main takeaway is to get started right and then build up from there we don't just want you to we maybe just join the slack channel and not do anything and or you know just make a, a docs contribution like in as much as we encourage with you know the small contributions we want you to you know keep up with it we want you to build up from there you know there's there's actually a path for contributors in kubernetes you know you join you can be a contributor you can you, from there you 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 know if you've made a couple of prs you you become a member you know you can become a sig lead you can become a reviewer like you review prs and you can approve, you know, there's a step, you know, the more you contribute, you know, the more roles that you can be given within, within the community. So, of course, you know, there are companies, Google, Microsoft, large companies that are around Kubernetes, you know, you get to work with those engineers, right? It's, it doesn't matter where you're from, you know, you get that world-class experience that we're always talking about, you know, you learn in the open, there's there's obviously a value in that, you know, there's, let's say you were just working on just your, your, your little project, you know, push it to just your, your GitHub repo. Like that's great. We, we obviously love, love side projects, but you don't get that much eyes on it, right? When you make a pull request to a, a repository as large as um, Kubernetes, you know, you have people who are going to take a look at what you've done and say, okay, you know, this is good, but maybe you should change it to this, you know, it could, you could, they comment on your pull request and you make changes and you learn like that. And also there are job opportunities around Kubernetes and it's obviously a plus if you have contributed before. So um, this is very similar to the talk I did last year, but I also want to add on something that we recognize our, like our role as people who are reading the community in encouraging people to contribute, right? We, um, like last year, I feel like what we didn't do so well, I was reflecting on it, was that we didn't have like a follow up plan for people who were going to get into, you know, Africans particularly, who are going to get into contributing to Kubernetes. We sort of just made a talk and this uh, around contributing, you know, brought people to share their experience contributing to, you know, Kubernetes and open source in general. But there was little follow up and that's part of what we're going to do better this year. Um, uh, we are trying to get a slack channel particularly for african devs on the kubernetes slack so you know as soon as you join you already have like a place where you probably know one or two familiar places and it's easier to ask for help like i got a couple of dms from people like oh what do i do you know but i don't want it to be like a single point of contact you know there's a slack and then anyone people who are already members you know can help out so we're going to be doing a lot more following up we're going to be trying to you know encourage people we're not just going to make it like oh once a year uh okay someone is asking for the slack link we'll, we'll, we'll post that much later we'll, we'll post that later but what i'm trying to say is that we we are not just going to just keep talking about it we are going to actually try and you know put some weights behind our words uh, probably organize a monthly meet contributors meeting for Africans and other people who are welcome in the community. Maybe have people give talks. You get so we are also 
we also recognize the work that needs to be done on our part as existing community members to grow the community, the, to grow contributions, especially from Africans in the um, Kubernetes contributions. But of course, as much as we have to do the work, we have to make it welcoming, we want to make it easy for you guys, you know, you also have to step forward. You know, you have to take a step. You know, um, someone says you take baby steps and next thing you're flying, right? So yeah, you have to take that step. Um, you know, join the Slack, please join the Slack channel. Uh, once once the, the um, join the Kubernetes Slack, if we have a particular Slack for Africans, if that gets created, we are filling it up, we would, you know, we will alert you guys. So basically, we want to be able to track people who are coming in from this conference or any other, you know, conference community efforts that we're having. We want to be able to, you know, form a community of Africans within Kubernetes community. And obviously, it starts from you. So that's basically our intro into this conference. Like, we want more people, we want more participation, we want more diversity, of course. But of course, we have to make ourselves available. So please, when you're done with this, you know, just think you I, I know that as much as it can be really hard to get started, take a step. That's basically the summary of what I want to say. And of course, open source, as, as we grow our open source contributions in all these large projects, you know, it's also like a positive development from us from, from Africa. You know, we had the Oscar Fest in Abuja last month. You know, it was crazy what people are doing in the open source space. You know, it's inspiring seeing Africans, people like you out there, you know, being rock stars, not rock stars, but at least contributing to open source, making these big changes in different projects. Do you get is a general win for us as collective people. So I'm going to summarize this by please don't just listen to these talks and, you know, feel inspired and not do anything with it. You know, that's that's not the point. You know, feel inspired, make a move. You know, we are going to try and encourage you each step of the way. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the rest of the talk. Of the, of the conference, sorry. I think you're okay. muted. Okay. Uh, his audio, his audio seems to be out. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mind me. Lots of buttons to touch. <laughs> uh, that was awesome. Um, I think one question that a lot of uh, people want to ask is, uh, hmm, okay, contribute to Kubernetes. What programming languages or technologies do I need to know? Let's say you want, I know you don't have to be a technical uh, contributor. You can contribute to docs, uh, organize meetings, organize this developer, at uh, DevX or something department. But let's say you want to go technical. What are the skills or languages you need to know to do that? Yeah, so uh, mostly Kubernetes is, is, is written in Go, but we actually have client libraries in other languages you know, so you can take a look at the Kubernetes repo. There are, there's actually more than one language that you can contribute to. Of course, if you want to contribute to the core of Kubernetes, it's written in Golang. But even if you don't, there's, there are different client libraries that you can, you know, check out. The website is um, a HTML, CSS. The Kubernetes website, of course, is the written in HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So that too can work out. So yeah, there are different languages that you can contribute to in, in Kubernetes, but the mo most prominent one is Golang. Awesome. Uh, we don't have any questions in the chat. Uh, if you are watching live, you can ask your questions, drop it in the chat or uh, tweet your questions and we'll surely uh, pass to some too. Yeah, um, one other question I have is, yeah, you know, how are the meetings of most of the communities? Because I know most of the uh, Kubernetes communities are largely based in the US. So we're going to do meeting for midnight or are there <laughs> <laughs> are regions? Yes, some some SIGs try to alternate the time zones. They are still, in as much as a, a lot of people are like, you know, based in the 
America and Europe, there are still, you know, a bunch of people in other time zones. And that they try to take that into account. You know, sometimes some people alternate the times, you know, this week they do it, you know, in a time good for this particular people in this particular time zone. And the next time they swap the time a bit so that it's more comfortable. But most most times you should be able to join. It might be a bit in the evenings, like five, six, but, you know, nothing that you can't manage. Yeah, awesome. I think we also have a contribution from Sayan Patek. Uh, he said Go Lang, uh, but not limited to it. I guess he's referring yes, to yes. language in the cloud uh, Kubernetes. Rust yeah, also nice. has a presence. Java ETC are also there. Thank you very much. Okay, Sayan. I sorry, I see a question. Can I contribute using Terraform? Uh, Terraform is sort of an infrastructure as called as a service tool used for spinning off infrastructure. Uh, I haven't seen any repository with just Terraform. You know, Terraform is basically like you're trying to build infrastructure. So yeah, no, I'm not sure you can contribute through Terraform, through using Terraform. You can probably, you know, make some docs around, you know, spinning up um, Kubernetes clusters using Terraform. Yeah, but I haven't really looked it into it, but I don't think so. But you can definitely build up from there, right? If you're using Terraform already, that means you have some knowledge about infrastructure, you know, and using it up. Are there any meetups or communities in Southern Africa? It seems like it, it, most of this stuff happens. Okay, yeah, um, Kubernetes Community Days Africa is for the whole of Africa, you know. Uh, I know the, the in-person meetup was supposed to happen in Lagos, but it's actually, it actually covers the whole of Africa. And of course, if you feel like there is no community where you are, you can always, always, always um, reach out and, you know, try to get one started. You know, it's always, always start, it, it starts with one person, right? So yeah, I think I'm over time. So thank you. Yeah. And we are actually looking forward to hosting in multiple countries. Uh, maybe we try Lagos again next time, or we try Cape Town uh accra etc we'll be going all over the uh, continent at least we'll get to know our brothers and sisters that are all over the continent yeah okay uh i think sayam also mentioned uh here that you can create terraform modules yes and i think one way you can also contribute is you can contribute your knowledge of terraform to uh the terraform uh um, what do they call it? Is it package or modules that are provided by on the Terraform registry? That way you can improve on the API and and others. Uh, yeah, and um, Sayam is also mentioning that you can reach out. Uh, we can always reach out to him, and he would love to help out grow the cloud native in Africa. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Yeah, sure. We're always excited to see people ready to mentor and help out. That's how the community grows. Yeah. Okay. I think we also have one. We are still within time, so we can take as much as we can. Uh, I think uh, someone is sharing here, with regards to Terraform, consider joining the Terraform Providers channel. Yes, in the yeah. Kubernetes okay. Slack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, It's all about building of the Terraform Kubernetes Provider. Thank you very much. This is uh, really this is an awesome contribution. Okay, awesome. I think um, we can let some people go. Thank you very much for joining. Right, and, thank uh, you for me. <laughs> yeah.